Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day closer to FC 25, and that means we need to look at some dates because there's some very important dates upcoming that you need to know related to crucial FC 25 information and when we actually have a chance to get on this game for the first time. Time. We're going to discuss a lot of things today about the web app, the early release, and even the full release of the game, but everything from now until then in the in-between. So if you're excited for FC25, drop a thumbs up on the video, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, one helpful tool in looking at all this is going to be this calendar, created in part with myself and also Foot Mentor. He created the graphic. I added some other things to it. I'll link his tweet down below in the description if you want to take a look at his account and this graphic for him. But let's just start and get into it right away, guys, because we've already had some things revealed. On his original graphic, he showed that the official icon reveal should have been on Saturday, and that was a prediction. He says they're in the fine print. Well, EA's actually already released all the icons and their official stats in these last couple of days. That's why I put that in the green here, because that's kind of a guarantee, because that's already happened, guys. We know all eight icons coming to FC25, their player stats, their player images, the cards, and everything, because EA posted them on their website and revealed them to us. Now, also, we've known a lot of the player ratings as well based on the leaks, and this was one of the big things that we looked at last week. These cards matched exactly the leaked ratings that we had for the icons coming as well. So if you have not seen this, make sure to go to the website or go to Footbin's website and check out some of the ratings on the cards. You can see them all there as well. Officially uploaded, official FC25 icons. They kind of slowly have been releasing videos about them as well. There hasn't been a lot of news about FC25 this past week. It's been a pretty slow week, except for the icons. But this next week, it's about to turn up. And this is where it gets good. Now, let's start with the next thing that should be coming out in chronological order. Because, guys, after playing this game now for this will be the 10th year of me playing Ultimate Team, EA does a lot of things the same way year over year. But they always add in a few twists and turns, of course, depending on what's being added into the new game that is upcoming. But when it comes to ratings, they've been pretty consistent at least the last two years in releasing a database with all of the cards coming to FC24 this year 25 on a Monday. Guys, last year on Monday, they released the database, the start of the database, not the whole thing. I think that's what they're going to do this year as well. EA don't like to do press releases with this sort of stuff on the weekends. Just looking back from some of the pitch notes that we've had uh, earlier on this year, Where's the page that I'm looking for? Right here. We've had a lot of pitch notes already this year. None of them have been released on a Saturday or a Sunday. They like the weekdays. I think that's going to remain consistent for when we start to get the actual FC25 database. Now, with this database, we're looking for a couple of things. First of all, we're looking for it to confirm the ratings of the cards that we already have leaked, which we imagine will be the exact same ratings, right? That's kind of what we're looking for with that. But the bigger aspect of this is... Playstyle pluses. We know from some of the leaks that playstyle pluses from cards in FC24 might be changing to 25. Not maybe for Erling Holland or Kylian Mbappe, but there was a rumor that Harry Kane was, instead of having incisive pass plus, he was going to have finesse plus, which would be a major upgrade for him. But we're going to be watching very closely to see what gold cards have different playstyle pluses and playstyles, because the database last year that EA released showed both of those. Also, skill move and weak foot changes, upgrades and downgrades will be something that we look for really closely too. And then this year, one of the new additions to FC25 is, of course, FC IQ with the rolls, roll pluses, and roll plus pluses. I'm really curious to know if those will be listed in the database for any of these cards as well. For players that will have certain roll pluses and roll plus pluses, as those will be a huge part of the meta and how a card performs in the game. That's a new aspect of FC25 that we've kind of wrapped our minds around, but we still have a lot to learn with it. So hopefully they release that as well as the ratings of the cards, the statistics, and the playstyle pluses and all that. Now, one thing I will say is it's not like EA on Monday. It's just going to release the whole entire database, guys. They do this every single year as a slow release, kind of like they just bait us a little bit. Every single day, they'll drop 25 cards, 25 cards. They'll start with the 100 to 75. Then they'll do 75 to 50. You know what I'm saying? They'll kind of release it 25 cards or something like that every day of the week until we get to the end of this next week. And then we'll finally have the full database out with all of the thousands of cards that you'll be able to search up in here 
by name. It'll give you the options. I'm actually not getting any pop-ups right here. If I search like Jota, I should be seeing a Diogo Jota, I guess, but maybe the search bar isn't working for the FC 24 player ratings, but there should be a database very soon. And of course, then you'll be able to see stuff on the websites like Foot them where they will add the players in because right now all they have are the actual confirmed cards like the icons and some of the pre-order heroes. So that's the database and we expect to see that information this Monday, but really it's going to be lasting throughout the whole week, to be honest. Now, let's move to the next thing, guys. Skip over the web app a little note that I added right here. Let's talk about the pitch notes. Now you see a question mark next to this because we never know exactly when the pitch notes are going to be released each year, but it's something that we've now come to expect because the last two years, they have released a pitch notes article a week or so ish before we get on the game for the early release and the web app with a ton of information guys two years ago in fever 23 when this dropped our minds were blown because this was a huge piece of information that we had never had before it gave us a huge insight into when cards were going to be in packs what promos were happening at the start of the game what other piece of content like the friendlies and even some of the sbcs last year they told us what was going to be out in the game during the early access period it's it's really, really, really helpful. And it also gives us a lot of information on the new content that is going to be coming. Like last year, evolutions were brand new. Seeing this screenshot was massive for us because we didn't know how evolutions were going to look, how it was going to work out in the game. We saw the requirements. We saw that it could be coins or FC points or free evolutions, obviously. And now we know all about it, but it was so new and foreign to us last year that this information was incredibly helpful. Things we're still looking to learn about this year that we don't know much about. Um, we're talking about rush how is rush going to integrate that's one of my biggest questions how is rush going to integrate with the new way they plan to do the seasons or um, the game pass right they've talked about a season pass not a game pass but a season pass that is paid and then another one that is free how is that going to work they're going to give us more detail hopefully on that as well um, and even like the new evolution system they said there's a new way that evolution cards upgrade this year there's new cosmetics for that we need more information we've been asking for more information for a while and hopefully these pitch notes that drop here soon should give us that information now the question is when will these drop I think last year they dropped on a Friday, but the year before that in FIBA 23, they dropped on a Wednesday. That's why I've got a question mark here, guys, because honestly, the pitch notes could come out anytime between Monday and Friday of this next week, but I think it's 100% guaranteed going to be this next week. If I had to take a guess, my guess would be either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. That's just my 100% guess. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to guess Tuesday or Wednesday and then maybe a late shout for Friday for those pitch notes. And once those get dropped, you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and with notifications on because we'll be talking about all of the news and info, breaking it down. And some of the little things that we learn instead of these pitch notes every single year impacts how we look at the market, impacts how we play the game in the early stages to have the most success and to get the best out of the game and the best out of your time on the game in those first couple of weeks so that is one thing i wanted to go through with that now let's go to the next thing as we go through the calendar to next week after that we get to wednesday the 18th this calendar here kind of looks a bit off right you see there's no 17 it's because there's two things combined the web app and team of the week one are on the 18th guys this is I think technically not confirmed, but I put a check mark by it because it's basically confirmed. Like the web app is on a Wednesday every single year. And recently in years past, it has been really close to the early release date, which will be the Friday after that, just two days after that, guys. The web app last year, dropped at this exact same time and we were expecting it to drop on this wednesday the 18th time frame as well now that's the big day that's the big day because we can finally get on our ultimate team start managing our clubs maybe open a pack or two the web app last year was really really bad also get ready for a bunch of web app tips and tricks videos because I mean, man, the web app's not really as much as it used to be unless EA change a few things. We're still still looking for some information on that. Maybe those pitch notes will give us that information uh, here coming pretty soon. But the web app period is a lot more stressful than it used to be and not even as fun, to be completely honest. But maybe that'll change this year. But last year, it stuck in our minds at how bad it was. Now, you see with this also team of the week one, the web app is almost always dropped in correlation with the first team of the week so that there's actually something in packs. 
for the first couple of days when we get on the game. Now, if you're wondering, Nate, I pre-ordered the game. When do I get my 4,600 FC points um, and some of the other bonus stuff that you give the pre-order? That is not during the web app. The web app is literally going to be how we start our ultimate teams if you get on for the first time and have web app access. I know a lot of people maybe don't have access if they're switching from PC to console, console to PC, or if you're changing consoles, you probably won't have uh, access on the web app on your new accounts. And if you didn't have market access in the previous year's web app, you probably don't have it going forward into FC25 as well. But there are some things you can do to like play games and be on the game a bit more to unlock the web app. So make sure if you don't have web app access right now on FC24 that you get it as fast as you can by playing the game and unlocking that. Uh, there's no formula to unlock it. It's just kind of like doing stuff on the game and playing games somehow unlocks it. It's really weird, but they say that playing games and being on the menus helps. So try to unlock that and double check on that so that you're ready to go for the start of FC25. Now you saw on the calendar as well that I mentioned the FC24 web app will be going down. I expect that to be this Wednesday. That is also something that EA do every single year. Found a really old screenshot. Just could not pass up on the opportunity to show this to you guys from the OG foot economist who now works at EA. This is somewhat similar um, of a graphic to what we'll see for FC24 going into FC25. It'll say, oh, the, the FC25 web app is coming soon. It'll maybe tease a little bit of a screenshot of it, but I wouldn't read into whatever screenshot is shown there. Um, and basically you won't be able to use the web app anymore. So if you're somebody who uses the web app a lot, it's probably the last couple of days. The time is numbered, honestly, for being able to use this to grind 85 times tens or whatever you're doing right now, 96 plus footies, picks and menus. But it is almost time for this to be shut down so they can update it and release the new FC25 web app here very soon. Now, the next question always is, Nate, what time does the web app release? Now, we're going to deep dive into the web app even more as we get closer to it and as we get the launch pitch notes and learn more about how this early time on the game will look. But usually, this happens uh, to drop around content time. So whatever time content releases for you every single day in the new game, which is 6 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. Eastern for me, it's usually right around that time. Last year, I actually have the note written down. I got onto the web app five minutes before a content drop, five minutes minutes 5 55 p.m uk um 12 55 p.m eastern time was when i was able to get on the web app for the very first time so that should be uh the time of when we get in this year as well because it is pretty consistent now after we're on the web app the companion app comes out the day afterwards most likely usually it comes through a update on your phone android ios whatever you use the web app on you can also use the companion app that'll be an update coming out there it's usually the day after Maybe two days after, we'll have to see. Then we get to the first release day, really, really exciting day on the 20th. Friday, the 20th of September will be the ultimate edition release. And that is when we will get onto the game and actually be able to play the game for the first time. Of course, this is confirmed on EA's website. If you pre-ordered the game, even if you haven't pre-ordered it yet and you still do, you can get the access on the 20th of September. Now, always the biggest question with this is, when do you get on then? Well, this is always a rolling midnight release. So people that are across the world maybe get on sooner than you, depending on your time zone. This will start in New Zealand and Australia. And if you remember what happens every year, especially on Xbox, I think Xbox only is where this works. A lot of people will change their location on their Xbox to New Zealand, their physical location. They'll say they're in New Zealand and that way it'll set their clock and it will set their, I guess, location. Somehow it'll say that they're there so that when uh, the time comes for it to be midnight in New Zealand on the 20th of September, they will be able to download FC25 instead of waiting till whatever time zone they are in. So it'll be midnight your time zone as the clock turns from the 19th of September to the 20th of September, that's when you will be able to play and get on FC25. It should be available for pre-download before then. Check your console, check the store if you pre-ordered it. it, should be in there. Of course, if you're getting the Ultimate Edition and you're getting on that day, you will have it kind of bought already and pre-ordered anyway, so it'll just be a matter of downloading it and then getting on the game. This is also when we should be getting those pre-order rewards, like the 4,600 FC points usually come out then. We'll be talking about those very soon. Doubled rush points is gonna be a huge part of early access this year. That's gonna be released then as well. 
as is, I believe, the pack that gives us an origin hero. Now, I'm still looking for information, and we have nothing right now, as to what promo we're going to have during early access. Last year, if you guys remember, we had the Nike promo, where we had those cards, like um, Nike, Mad Ready, Virgil van Dyke, and we had plenty of other players where they gave us loan cards, and they were also in packs, and we had to complete objectives by playing with these cards to get extra packs and extra rewards. It was a decent promo. These cards had the same rating as their gold cards, which we didn't really like. We were expecting them to have a little bit of a boost, but they had sick card designs and dynamic images, and a lot of people liked them in the early stages of the game because they had that, and then again, a pretty sick card design as well. So, we don't have any information about what promo is going to be going on during early access or what type of content we're going to get unless it's related to the origin heroes, which not even everybody's going to get because even right now, if you pre-order the game, you can't get those hero cards because that time has passed. You had to pre-order the game before August 20th. So really curious as to what content is going to be releasing during the early access, but that's the most exciting date out of all this, guys, because if you pre-ordered, again, that's got the green check mark because it is confirmed. It's 100% happening on that day. If you pre-ordered, then you're in and you're playing the game. You're grinding squad battles, rush, division rivals, getting your rank up, getting those rewards, starting to mess with the market, do SPCs like the advanced SPCs and all that sort of thing. That's when the grind really kicks off and we get into the game. We'll be getting content during that time as well. But like I'm saying, we just don't know exactly what. Like last year, we had the flashback Kevin De Bruyne SPC that was released during early access and some other decent SPC content as well. We're excited to see what it is this year. No player of the month though. We just learned that. There's not going to be a player of the month SPC for the winner of the August player of the month, which last year it was James. Madison. This year, it looks like it's going to be Erling Holland for the Prem, but EA have already guaranteed and said that there is no Player of the Month SBC happening then. So that's the big date for a lot of us that pre-ordered. Now, the last and final date is the full release, the 27th. One week later, seven days later, we will be able to get on the full game release, the 27th of September, and we will have our first FC25 promo here as well. That's not a prediction. That's that's a guarantee, guys. The EA is going to be running a promo on this Friday. There's already been rumors of it being Road to the Knockouts. Um, I don't know if you remember the Road to the Knockouts promo from last year. It was the first promo of the year. If I scroll all the way back down through all the promos we had during FC24, I mean, technically the Nike Mad Ready promo was out during early access, but Road to the Knockouts was the first real promo of the year with a bunch of cards and packs and SBCs and objectives. And it was a pretty nice promo, man. It was nice. We used to have ones to watch back in the day. You know, the ones to watch promo, I think a lot of us remember good things about it, but I'm going to have to say, to be honest, I think Road to the Knockouts had more positives than ones to watch. The only things that ones to watch did better than Road to the Knockouts was that you had hype for players playing literally the next day because the game dropped for early access or for the full release of the game. And then the next day, the next morning, there were Premier League games. There were La Liga games where guys were playing for upgrades and potential boosts on their card, which was so hype. And for the Road of the Knockout cards, their games weren't for a couple of weeks, of course, since it was Champions League related. So that's the full release date. And that's the date when everybody who has bought the game will be able to get on. We'll have our first promo, like I mentioned, and we'll probably have some other content releasing as well so those are the dates that you need to know really it's three dates the 18th 20th and 27th for getting on to the game and then this next week like we mentioned it's going to be a bit you know unknown but we're going to be getting a lot of news and information some pitch notes and the web app will be shutting down and some ratings reveals as well and it'll start to take shape the early times on FC 25 await us, guys. It's so exciting to be this close. I just wanted to be here already. I'm so ready for it to actually be here to get on the game. And we'll be, of course, covering all of the content and information that you need to know to get a good start to FC 25, not lose coins, work the market in the correct way. We'll be looking at price predictions, how to start the web app, and all sorts of other stuff. So get ready, buckle in, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and if it helped you. And of course, get a comment down below if you're excited, what you're excited for the most, or maybe what you're excited for the least. I know some guys are not excited for FC 25. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you're not excited for FC 25, you can try out the game for EA Play. If you just want to start on the web app, start on EA Play, hear what other people are talking about, see how the first couple of days goes, get the 10-hour early access trial. That'll be a thing that happens this year as well. I forgot to mention that. The EA early access trial actually comes out 
on the 20th of early release. That's that in there, EA Play release. So that's kind of like if you just want to give the game a test, if you really weren't happy with FC24, and you want to give it a test for 25 before, you know, going all in, diving all in sort of thing. You can absolutely do that there for just a fraction of the cost. Used to be back in the day, that is how we played the game early was the EA Play before the web app or at the same time. But uh, now those kind of line up with the early access. So it's not really worth just getting EA Play if you're going to pre-order the Ultimate Edition. I digress though. That's the video for today, guys. Again, drop a thumbs up on it if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. Have a great day. Peace out.